Hi there everyone, welcome back to Dandelion Delphi Tutorials. Today we're going to learn how to do some calculations. Now we want the user to see the calculation, so therefore it's done between the select and the from. And here is an example of just listing the surname and the cost, but then calculating the VAT. So I'm using what value is inside of cost and multiplying that by 15%. And then after the calculation, I'm putting as VAT. What you place after the as is what you will see as the heading at the top of this column. So this will be the third column. You will see the surnames, the cost, and then at the top you'll see VAT and the VAT calculating from the existing cost. Remember, every select needs a from, and we can, after this, also add a where and an order by. Here's an ex another example. This is showing me the cost, but then it's showing me the cost including VAT. So I'm taking the existing cost and I'm adding to it 15% of the cost. And in this case, I have a field name with spaces in it. So it's important to still apply our previous rules where we have to put square brackets around the fields. You can use your normal multiply, divide, plus and minus here in your calculations. And this will do calculations on each record. Here are a whole bunch of functions that we could use also within the select to do some calculation or maybe formatting. So around here where I put an F, that means you have, you're going to put a field name there. Or it could also be a calculation that you've done. So around we'll just do normal bankers rounding like we've done in grade 10. And then round with a field name or calculation, comma, and then a number. We'll round the number off to a certain number of decimal places. So Y will represent your decimal places. Then I would like to format the field sometimes as a currency. So I'll put format, field or calculation, comma, and in double quotes I'll put currency. Note that it's not FF currency. This is currency because we're busy with SQL code. Here we have the left function. So left will take a field and copy it from the left, from the first character, for Y number of characters. So if I have a field that contains John, so my SQL code will say select left name, comma 2. Um, but let's say John was in one of the records and I put a 2 there, it will copy out J and O. Then right will copy out the field from the last character for Y number of characters. So doing the same right with 2, um, it will copy out the H and the N. And then MIT is very similar to your copy function, where I say I want to start at a certain character. I want to copy out for a certain number of characters. Then LEN is the same as length. And to concatenate two fields, that means combine two fields together. Instead of using a plus like we would in Delphi, we are going to put an ampersand sign. This is usually the key that you would find if you push shift and seven on your keyboard. And then in string is the same as pause, but the, these two values are swapped around um, compared to pause. So this is the field and this is what we are looking for in this field. And then we have ucase, which is similar to uppercase and lcase, which is the same as lowercase. Here we have some date functions. So date is the same as the date function you've used in Delphi, but you have to put these two round brackets afterwards, else you'll get a runtime error. And now we'll have the date, and it will include today now's time, and then we can also format time. But what is important is that we can format our dates. So we will have select, format, and then maybe date of birth field listed here, comma, and in double quotes we'll put how we want to format this date. You now have control over how you want to display this date. And I'm going to display the months to you. The years and days will work the same, but months have more options. So if I put four M's next to each other, it's going to show me the full name of that month. And then when I put three M's, I'm going to see the abbreviation of the month. 
two M's will show me for the numbers 1 to 9. It will show this leading 0. And then 1 M for the numbers 1 to 9, it won't show me the leading 0. For 2 M's and 1 M, the numbers from 10 upwards will not be affected. So that's the same for years as well as for days. So here's an example. If I would put format and then the field name um, and a comma, I can display the date in this format. So show me the day without the leading zero, the abbreviated version of the month, and then only the last two digits of my year. I can decide what I want to put in between the days, the months and the year. I don't have to display all of them. And I can decide to maybe put a space or a divide symbol or even dashes in between. I can also swap the years and months around in whichever format I would like to see it in. It is important for all of these functions that you see at the moment that the field here is of date data type. These three functions are very handy. You would have come across them, similar ones in Delphi, where we had year of, month of, and day of. And this will return for me an integer value, where f is a field that has a date data type, and it will return the year for me as an integer number. Similar, the month and the day will then return for me the integer numbers of those dates. Here are some examples of applying these functions. So here I'm displaying the name, the cost. I'm rounding the VAT that I've calculated here off to 2. Here I'm doing a calculation to calculate someone's birth. And I'm taking today's date, deduct from that the date of birth that would be stored as a date time data type. That would give me the number of days that they are old. So therefore I need to divide by 365.25. And I'm rounding it off to get an integer value. Here I'm possibly creating something like a username. Uh, the first part of this username will be in capital letters. And it will consist of the first three characters of the person's first name. And then combined to that, concatenated with the ampersand, I then have the lower case of the person's surname, but of the last two characters of their surname. And then here, the last example here is showing me the date of birth in a certain format. So if I was born in on the 5th of October in 2004, I will see 5 October 04. Again, as you probably have experienced, is the code will run with errors and then you will experience a runtime error. I would suggest when you are creating one of these functions or using one of these functions is to open your round brackets and close them and cl code in between. That's probably the biggest mistake most of you guys will make is forgetting to close that bracket. And remember as and then the field name and don't forget to add your from. So I can also add a where and this is a way using my calculation in my way. So I can't use average in my way. If I wanted to have a condition on this calculation, I need to repeat this calculation in my way, then add my operator and then my value that I want to compare this answer to. It's not important to have the formatting here for your calculation. But this is really showing the person's first name and calculating their percentage to test that was out of 150 in total and multiplying by 100. And then seeing who, which learners it was that has a percentage of less than 50. Now, earlier on in one of the previous recordings, I showed you that you can use order by 2 and that you can use the number year after order by. So we could have said sort this these records according to the second field listed. But when you have calculations, the moment you're using plus minus divide or multiply, 
in your calculations in that field you can't use the number order of that field you have to repeat the calculation in your order by just a reminder that you have to put the select from where and order by in that order you can't mix the order up so I have a little mnemonic that would probably make more sense later but it says similar friends will go hang will still do out and you have to make sure that your SQL statement always follows that order if you want to practice with us and you haven't done this before you need to go to this link here and just download the data files for the next program so now's your time to practice um, we're moving on to the menu called calculations and in that main menu there are sub menus and first do the company age menu the output here was produced on the 27th of October oh, December 2018 but if you run it today in 2020 this will be your output also try the next two menus try the income menu but note that the income here is displayed as a rand value so that means that you have to use format with currency it's always important when you doing an exam that you look at the example of output and your output must match what you see on the screen exactly try number five calculating the VAT and also try number six the percentage just a note is some of the output you will see that it says an extract of output that means that there is more output this is just part of it if it says example of output your output must match what you see on the screen exactly but for an extract of output you can just check if your output at the top looks the same as what you see on the example here is the memo for the income menu and I had to display the description of the activity and their renting cost and then I had to calculate the income so that would be the number of tickets they sold multiplied by the cost per ticket displayed as a currency so you'll see format here in the front and then at the top my heading said as income and the data for the ticket sold and ticket cost and so on sits in the activity table so from TBL activity I was then asked to only show those activities or records that made a profit so that means that their income was more than their renting cost so this here is the same calculation as I did in my select that the user will see and this is making sure I only see the records that made a profit so their income is higher than their renting cost and I was asked to order by or sort according to the renting cost the renting cost was my second field it did not contain a plus minus or divide so I could say order by two that was my second field listed and I had to display it from the record with the highest renting cost to the low so therefore I added DESC at the end I hope this helped you grade 11s and 12s and I hope to see you soon